Hello everyone, I'm Chris Ericoli and welcome to your Friday edition of the PE Crime Blotter. Michael Barber of Paris has been sentenced to death for the murder of both his wife and his wife's six-year-old daughter. He murdered both of them after finding out via a paternity test that the daughter was not his. I'm joined now by Press Enterprises' Rich Giatley. Rich, you were in the courtroom this morning when the sentence came down. Kind of describe the scene and also uh, tell us exactly how this whole case went down. Well, the courtroom was filled with uh, friends and family, uh, and uh, it was a, uh, a mixture of emotions, actually. There were uh, 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 people who acknowledged uh, what had been done, but uh, wanted to see his life spared. But uh, at the end of the day, Judge Edward Webster said that this was a planned uh, slaying and cruel in its uh, execution, and that it was uh, the planning included uh, preparing a rental car that couldn't be traced and heading toward Texas where uh, uh, the slain wife's current lover was living and the judge said uh, that basically we're lucky we didn't have three victims in this crime. Uh, he, he simply didn't buy into uh, Barber himself who spoke before sentencing to say that it was a crime of passion and he also said that he was planning on uh, this to be a murder-suicide but didn't have a gun with him at the time he was pulled over and arrested by police in New Mexico. Can I describe the background behind this killing? We know Barber found out through a paternity test that his six-year-old daughter was not his and also that his wife had, had been having an affair with uh, several other uh, gentlemen. That appears to be the case and um, as I said uh, he uh, 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 then planned out this uh, slaying uh, by having a romantic evening with his wife that ended though with her strangulation and then went to the bedroom of the child and uh, killed her as well. The uh, scope of the crime is what the judge kept referring back to and how uh, planned it was and how cruel it was in, it, in, uh, in, in, uh, in its execution, I said before. Uh, in giving him the death penalty. The judge was just simply unswerving in his, de in his decision uh, uh, to give you a, sort of the idea of the kind of mix that was going on of emotions in the courtroom. Uh, Barber's 13-year-old uh, daughter, uh, who uh, asked the judge to please uh, let the case, uh, uh, let God judge the case and not sentence her father to death, first wanted, to, uh, the defense wanted to put her forward. Uh, the judge said that wouldn't be appropriate the prosecution under Marcy's law, which allows victims to speak, they brought her forward and afterward the prosecutor in the case said that he thought it was just and fair that the daughter should get a chance to speak under any circumstances. We understand obviously that there will be an automatic appeal with the death penalty. Uh, where do you see this going from here? Well, I see it going for decades. Uh, all uh, death penalty appeals in California uh, eventually wind up before the California Supreme Court. Uh, the uh, rule of thumb measurement almost now is 20 to 25 years for that appeal cycle to be completed. All right, Rich, thanks for joining us. That does it for your Friday edition of the PE Crime Blotter. Be sure to stay tuned right here on PE.com for the latest breaking news.